Welcome, artists! There are seven basic ingredients that artists use to create their artwork. These are known as the elements of art. They are shape, value, color, form, line, space, and texture. Sometimes an artist will use all of the elements of art, and sometimes they only use two or three. There's no rule on how many elements you can use in one piece of art. Today we are going to focus on line, shape, color, and texture to create a koi fish drawing. Koi fish originated in eastern Japan. They're known for their bright colors and distinct patterns. Koi fish are said to be very friendly and intelligent. Sometimes they'll even come to the surface to greet their owners. The oldest known koi fish lived to be over 200 years old. Koi fish have what appeared to be little whiskers near their mouth. These actually help them find food in the water. Artists have been capturing koi fish in their work for centuries, not only because they're beautiful, but because they represent strength and luck. To begin your drawing today, you'll need blank paper, a pencil, and a Sharpie. The Sharpie is optional. If you don't have it, it's okay. You can still create a drawing. You can use markers, colored pencils, anything you have at your house. I'm drawing with Sharpie so you can see all of my lines, but you can start with pencil first. Begin by creating the body of your fish. Then you're going to create the pectoral fins, or the fins that are on the side of your koi fish. You can be creative with all of your shapes. Now I'm making the back fin. These are the caudal fins. I'm creating one on each side, or you could create one large one in the back. Now I'm going to create a line up top to show the head of my fish. You don't have to make that line if you don't want to. I'm putting eyes close to the edge, and I'm adding on the barbells, or the little whiskers we talked about earlier. Now I'm putting a line down the center so I can put the dorsal fin, or the fin that goes on the back of the fish. Next I'm going to add a few lines for texture. Then I'm going to create a couple more fish to go in my pond. So you can get creative with the patterns you create on your fish. You could draw scales, you could do what I'm doing and add in a few lines. Completely up to you. This time I decided to only use two koi fish. I'm following the exact same steps to create my fish. If you only want to create one or two, draw them a little bigger to take up more room on your paper. Now I'm adding some more texture. To these ones, I decided to add some scales. So I'm creating kind of W's and M shapes. For the background of my composition, I'm going to use the element of art line. I'm going to create swirls and different lines around my fish to add some movement to the water. I'm also going to add in a few lily pads to fill in some of the space around the fish. you have in your house. Markers, crayons, colored pencils, watercolors. If you don't have anything to color with, that's okay. You can still share your project on the Padlet. There are over 25 types of koi fish. The most common colors that I saw while looking online are orange, red, black, blue, and yellow. I'm getting creative with my patterns. So it doesn't have to be super realistic, it's up to you. You can make your koi fish whatever color you choose. 
I'm trying to create somewhat realistic patterns, but adding a few extra areas of color, like on the fin and the tails. For the background, I recommend using crayons, colored pencils, or watercolors, something that will allow you to fill in the large space faster. drawing you can ask a parent to help you take a photo of your work using their phone and you can upload it to our Padlet. The link is below. I really look forward to seeing your work. I can't wait to see your creative koi fish. Have fun! Mm -hmm.